uh, we created ISIS. I mean, ISIS is no less than uh, the people up in Islamburg, no less than Gulen, is a CIA creation. Um, John McCain, for heaven's sake, was over there with the, with the ISIS officials. We created them. They came from the al Nursi group, the uh, Syrian Liberation Front. They, these two organizations combined, and they, they, they morphed into ISIS. It's our creation. We create them. We still direct them. When ISIS warriors are injured in, in battle, where are they transported? They're transported, for heaven's sake, to Israel. They're treated by the Israelis in Israeli hospitals and brought back to battle. Well, plenty, plenty of the rebels have admitted, acknowledged that they've been supported by Israel, and they've, they've thanked Israel for helping oh, them yeah. throughout. In fact, arms are oftentimes caught, Israeli arms are caught on, you know, on route to the rebel groups. But when it comes to this, then the grand scheme, the grand chessboard game, yes. Obviously, we are seeing the neocon strategy. Wes Clark talked about it, destabilize and overthrow the governments of Iraq, Somalia, Sudan, Libya, uh, Syria, Iran. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was the strategy that he talked about over 15 years ago. Yes. And obviously, we've seen it come to fruition to a large extent. Uh, but what is there, the, the game is ultimately, is it just continuing to destabilize the sovereign regimes that that oppose the will of the various financial oil conglomerates, or is it to create just total chaos in this entire region? Well, the ultimate goal, of course, is money, wealth. You know, real wealth comes from natural resources. Our, our money is, you know, just fabricated. It's not backed by anything. Mm -hmm. But real wealth comes from natural resources, be it gold, uh, be it oil, uh, be it heroin which is the third most valuable commodity in the world right now, another reason we're in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. But uh, the end of the game, the game can be, is, is being played to be won. It's not, not a game that will go on ad infinitum. Mm -hmm. It's being played to win, so that at the end of the day, the money cartel from the United States primarily, it's really an Anglo-American Established British and U.S. Yes, but at the end of the day, they control the natural resources. Russia's dependent on it. So Russia, of course, you know, if, if you're de depriving it of natural resources, you're, you're, you're depleting all of its power. Mm -hmm. The same thing with China. So uh, no, the end of the game is is total economic control of the world.